Hello families, this is Miss Gabby from Excel, and today we're gonna to talk about phonological awareness. If you came to school and picked up an activity bag, that is wonderful because you will find fantastic tips and activities inside that bag that you can do at home to help your child with phonological awareness development. Now, if you did not come to school to pick up a bag, it's no problem. Just stay with me because I'm gonna give you some great tips on things that you can do at home to help your child do much better with their phonological awareness. Now, what is phonological awareness? Phonological awareness is the ability to hear and manipulate sounds in spoken language. And our children develop phonological skills in the preschool and early school years. So this is a crucial time to help our children develop these skills. Now, our children learn in many different ways, but primarily at this age, they learn with games and activities that focus on listening to the sounds in words. Now, I'm gonna ask this question and think about it for a moment. Can your child recognize and produce rhyming words? Can they hear the beginning sounds in words and recognize when words start with the same beginning sound? Can they clap syllables? Or can they blend and segment individual letter sounds in words? All of those things that I just mentioned are phonological skills that are very important for your child to have in order to be stronger readers and writers. Now, there are many things that you can do to help your child develop phonological skills. For example, you can try this sing or say nursery rhymes together. Once your child is familiar with the rhyme, have them fill in the missing rhyming words. So let's use as an example, the nursery rhyme, twinkle, twinkle. We will tell our child, twinkle, twinkle, little, and let them fill in the blank. You know, let them say star. And then say, how I wonder what you, and let them say are and make them repeat those two words because star and R are rhyming words. And it's very important for your child to start recognizing uh, those kind of words. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can make it different. Try changing a nursery rhyme. Let's say, for example, let's stick to the twinkle, twinkle, little star nursery rhyme. Let's change the rhyming words and put a silly word instead. So we can say, twinkle, twinkle, little pig. How I wonder if you're big. If you change the nursery rhyme, you will see that your children would notice that you changed the word. And not only will they notice that you changed some words, but they'll notice that they're rhyming words because they'll notice they sound the same at the end of the word. If they don't notice, make sure you point it out to them and explain today that rhyming words are words that and the same, that sound the same. For example, pig and egg, they both say egg. They rhyme, they end the same. Another thing that you can do to help your child develop phonological skills is tongue twisters. Tongue twisters are really fun and children have a lot of fun saying them. There's really nothing special about tongue twisters except that they are sentences or paragraphs in which the majority of the words start with the same sound. So let's say, for example, I'm gonna read a tongue twister that starts with the sound of the letter F. So if we listen closely, we can see that all of these words start with that same sound, which is F, which is the sound of the letter F. So friendly fleas and flies flutter by. Your children will find that really fun because all of the words start with that same beginning sound. Now, I am going to challenge you to make your own tongue twister. Yeah, make your own and make one with your child. Uh, what I recommend parents is to make a tongue twister using their name. So let's say, for example, my name is Miss Gabby. My first name is Gabriella. So I have a fun tongue twister that I made for the kids some time back, and it says, Gabby is grumpy grabbing groups of geckos going home. It all starts with the sound G, which is the sound of the letter G. And it's a really, really, really fun, but yet really silly tongue twister. 
And I'm sure that if you create a tongue twister, even if it's outrageously silly, your children are really going to love it. And not only that, but they're going to recognize that they all start with the same sound that their name starts. And they'll really have fun with that. Now, how can you help your child? Read rhyming stories together and talk about which words rhyme. Make rhymes with your child. Encourage them to create new rhyming words, even if they're not real words. You know, sometimes you can just make up words, but if they have that same ending sound, your children are starting to understand the way that rhyming works. Well, I hope that you practice some of these activities at home with your children and that you have a lot of fun doing it. Remember, phonological awareness is extremely important.